Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a lot of the huge changes as of the midseason update because they did change a lot more that was in the patch notes. And we're going to be finding out about these things for a few days to come because there are a lot of changes that they just didn't mention that I could not possibly fit into this video. So we're going to go through some of the main changes that I think are important, at least as of right now, and then we'll have follow up videos. So make sure you're hitting the like button if you enjoy the content. If you want to find your way back, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. One of the biggest changes they've done is change the descriptions of the individual items. And obviously we know they've done this multiple times, but one of the ones they did change recently was the Cavalry Lancer. And this ends up impacting all of the SMGs and all of the LMGs, and pretty much all the weapons, because you're not really gonna use this one unless you're trying to destroy vehicles. And it does in fact actually help with the vehicle destruction, which we'll have some clips on that as well. What you're gonna see here is this was probably the most popular one for SMGs, just primarily because it didn't have any of the penalties of the movement ones, um, but it did uh, allow for extra damage range upwards of like 15, 17%, depending on the SMG. So now with that out of the way, we're gonna to have to do some more testing to find out what works best, because when it comes to SMGs, generally range is the most important thing, along with mobility. As long as you got both of those, the SMG is gonna be stacked. So in terms of actual options for that, we're probably gonna do the reinforced heavy, but that one also nerfs your aim walking movement speed, which is your strafe speed, so that's not a good thing for mobility. And then we have rifled, which hurts your sprinting movement speed, which obviously SMGs are a little bit more about mobility, but that's not gonna impact your strafe speed, so that might be a good way to go. And then we have the task force, which is gonna help the range, bullet velocity, and strafe speed um, at the cost of recoil. So depending on which SMG, that might be the way to go. So it's gonna be one of those three options. Um, we'll just have to do a little bit more testing to figure out what makes the most sense. The other part of it that people want to know about is when it comes to the tactical rifles. Um, they did change some of these attachments here. Obviously, the agency silencer is still going to do what it says. They did change the cavalry lancer. Now it does extra vehicle damage, which makes sense. The strike team, even though it doesn't say bullet velocity, it's still the best for bullet velocity. Um, and then when we go to titanium, match grade, all that type of stuff, these are actually accurate. So this one right here for the task force, it does increase your bullet velocity, but not as much as the strike team, and it doesn't help with the fire rate. So although they've kind of done things to make them a little bit better, the strike team is still going to be the way to go, even after the nerf. And they really didn't nerf much on this AUG. Uh, and like I said, we're going to get into a few more examples. So when it comes to the LMGs, so the stoner, I test the task force with the uh, agency suppressor, and the task force is the only one helping with bullet velocity. So whereas before, it's always been cavalry lancer since the integration back in December. It was always Cavalry Lancer for all the LMGs, regardless of what the description said. Even when they changed it, it was still that. Um, now they've swapped it again, and it does not help. So you got to reset all your LMG classes, and you're going to go with the Task Force. It's still going to help with the strafe speed. It's going to help with bullet velocity. It's going to help with the range. Um, and it gives you about 1,200 bullet velocity, a little bit less than that, closer to 1,100, 1,150, somewhere in there, um, with combining with the agency suppressor. Um, and then we'll get into an interesting thing about the Cavalry Lancer, which is disgusting, especially for solos, because birth isn't an issue. Or if you just want to shoot down vehicles, it's going to become pretty heavy. So that's kind of how that part works. Um, and they ended up nerfing the FFAR pretty hard. Um, and it's not just a nerf to the FFAR. It's a couple different things that they've done um, that didn't actually apply correctly. Um, and you're going to see kind of how all that works out. I'm going to go through kind of some of the main changes on like a big picture. Um, so you can see some of those things. But one of the things they changed, which was a popular barrel, um, especially for sniper support or as an SMG, where you're not really using this thing at range, you would go with the takedown barrel. Uh, it helped with bullet velocity, strafe speed. I think those were the main two things. Um, and then pretty much that was it. Now it's helping with effective range. It does no longer help with bullet velocity. I went through and I tested this. Um, and it's not helping you with strafe speed, so it's a lot slower. And people are like, man, the ADS is terrible now. Um, the big thing is the, these actually match what they do um, for multiple weapons. I went and tested this for the M16 as well as the FFAR. And now both you're getting huge penalties by equipping the, the, the fast mags, whereas before it wasn't really a penalty at all. So more often than not, it's just going to be better to go with the biggest mag if you're trying to go for a bigger mag. 
um, if you're trying to do that because otherwise, if you go with the fast mags, you're going to get a 50 millisecond penalty. Keeping in mind that this ADS speed feels even slower. Um, the ADS speed with the basic setup is right around 334 with the 50 round mag, the kind of same one that everyone's been running. And then when we go to the fast mags, it bumps up to almost 400 milliseconds. So it's going to feel really, really, really slow. And that kind of takes it out of its dominance. Even though the damage and all that stuff, I still have to do more testing to find out how broken it is. I think the TT based off footage if you're adsing already things gonna destroy but to get into the gunfight it's gonna feel very slow and sluggish and people who play a little bit more aggressive don't like that when you push a building it sucks you get outgunned just because it takes you too long to get your shots on especially with the the penalties the hip fire accuracy generally with this weapon so you're gonna want to avoid the fast mags and this is seen even more dramatic when it comes to the m16 which again is probably going to be the better option um, or tied with the AUG. It's really a matter of preference, kind of same setup that we've been using. But um, you can no longer go with the fast 60 round mag without a penalty. You're going to get a huge penalty on this one. Uh, if you go with the 45 round mags, you're sitting around 384 millisecond. If you go with the 60 round mag, it's going to be 150 milliseconds slower which is a huge difference in game. You're going to feel like, damn, this is slow. So I would avoid doing that. That was one of the things that was broken with the M16 is that you could run the fastest mag and there was no ADS penalty. Now it looks like those applying accurately. Obviously we have to test everything because they tend to mess up stuff with these things. They're just pretty broken. And a lot of people are asking, well, what's the new thing? What's the new thing? I don't think these got nerfed enough. At least we'll find out a little bit more in time. Got to do a little bit more damage testing. Bullet velocity, still the way to go. You're going to go with the strike team barrel. That's still going to give you the best. Um, and that's kind of how that part works. On top of that, I also went and tested two different sniper rifles. I test the wrap suppressor and the uh, tiger team barrel and the combat re recon for the uh, tundra as well as the pellington and the combat Recon with the wrap suppressor is still going to be the way to go if you're looking for maximum bullet velocity. Um, I also went and tested the rear grips. It looks like they're still hurting you by about 10%. The Pellington saw 50 millisecond increase to actual ADS time from 500 milliseconds up to 550. And the Tundra was from right around 600 milliseconds up to 700 milliseconds. So you had a significant increase in your ADS time. So still avoid using the rear grips. They are not fixed. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff I tested. So for pretty much everything I've talked about to this point, pretty much I had to go frame by frame. I looked at ADS speed um, and you can kind of see how it looks here. Pretty much I did the normal mags because um, I'm trying to do rapid fire testing. I'm not literally testing every individual thing at the moment because obviously everything would take way too long and I couldn't pull enough information. Whereas with this, I can actually go test a couple of the different hot things that people are interested in you can see i tested the task force when the bullet comes out when it hits the object at a specific distance measuring that and i can do all that for these ones one of the things i did want to point out was this vehicle damage one because previously it didn't do anything but now it definitely does so this is what it looks like when you use the cavalry barrel with the stoner. Uh, you're going to see I fire approximately about 45 bullets into this thing before it actually disables it, which is crazy considering it's normally around 200 rounds without this type of thing. It's just insane the amount of damage you're inputting into this thing with this. So right around the 45-ish meter boom, it's going to go ahead and disable right around 50-ish. Um, right there, you can see it gets disabled and then it does blow up. The helicopters have approximately the same amount of health. Um, so this could actually be your go-to. Maybe in the fifth zone, you grab a loadout, uh, you grab it and then you're, you're good to go because most of the engagements are going to be closer. The bullet velocity is still going to be around 750, 800. Um, whereas you don't really need that 1100, 1200, like you're going to be beaming people at range. You could hit a vehicle um, pretty easily and maybe have another weapon backup that's going to allow you to just destroy those vehicles. Uh, 45, you could destroy two. If you put on the biggest mag, you could probably destroy five vehicles, maybe four, within one mag without reloading if you go with the biggest mag. So that is a huge change uh, in terms of meta for fifth zone meta, if you're using Bertha's, you are going to get penalized pretty heavy. Keeping in mind that Bertha's have significantly more health than the SUVs, the buggies, that type of stuff. 
um, where you're gonna actually be able to delete those pretty quickly. So I was able to do a lot of rapid fire testing. Obviously, I still have a lot more testing to do. Some of the range stuff is a little bit more difficult because I have to get into a match with another player and test individual damage ranges, um, damage values. It doesn't really look like anything's changed unless somebody messaged me and say, hey, Lua, you know this feels way weaker, but then that kind of happens where people have this placebo effect and feel like a weapon is stronger or better just because they haven't used it in a while. So we kind of have to wait and see. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I am going to have follow-up videos related to this stuff. Now that they've changed this, hopefully this is the last time they're going to be changing these things so that I can actually update my spreadsheet. I was kind of holding it off, thinking that they were probably going to mess it up again. Lo and behold, look, look what they did. They did end up breaking it again. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, learn something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.